Rituxan is a recombinant DNA-derived, humanized monoclonal antibody. It recognizes CD20, a receptor found exclusively on the surface of both normal and malignant B lymphocytes, or B cells. Rituxan binds to CD20 and ultimately destroys its target cell. Although the in vivo mechanism or mechanisms of action are not fully understood, in vitro studies suggest that rituxan depletes circulating B cells and reduces the size of B cell lymphomas in a number of different ways. Rituxan has been shown to kill B cells through complement-dependent cytotoxicity, or CDC. Complement is a large group of plasma proteins that work together to destroy invading pathogens and malignant cells. The complement system is activated by antibody-antigen complexes, such as those between CD20 and rituxan. Complement protein C1 recognizes and binds to the humanized tail of rituxan, starting a series or cascade of sequential reactions. The product of each reaction starts the next. The end result is a protein line pore, the membrane attack complex, that penetrates the B cell membrane and allows the cellular contents to escape, eventually killing the cell. Rituxan may also destroy B cells through a process called antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity, or ADCC. When rituxan binds to CD20 on the surface of B cells, the antibody receptor complex attracts other components of the immune system, including natural killer cells. Natural killer cells have receptors that can recognize and bind to the humanized tail of rituxan. They also carry granules filled with cytotoxic molecules. When a natural killer cell binds to rituxan, it releases its granules. The cytotoxic molecules penetrate the B cell membrane. Some form pores that allow the cellular contents to escape. Others penetrate and destroy the cell's nucleus, ultimately killing the cell. Rituxan has also been shown to destroy B cells in vitro by triggering apoptosis or programmed cell death. Apoptosis is a natural mechanism that eliminates unneeded cells in the body. When rituxan binds to CD20, the antibody receptor complex signals the cell to start the process. The cell changes in shape as its cytoskeleton collapses. The nucleus condenses and enzymes fragment the DNA into small pieces. Eventually, the cell destroys itself from within. It shrinks by shredding membrane-bound vesicles until little remains. The relative importance of each of these mechanisms of action is not fully understood. They may act independently or in concert. What is clear, both from clinical studies and from clinical practice, is that rituxan is highly effective in depleting circulating B-cell populations and in shrinking B-cell lymphomas.